Have you ever thought of moving to Australia? I had that exact idea two years ago when I decided to apply for a working holiday visa. Hi, my name's Dane and I share these videos online to inspire you to travel and maybe even move down under for a new life. Moving to a new country involves pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, making new friends and having adventures. That's what today's video is all about. I ventured to the remote Kimberley region in the northwest of Australia with eight strangers to go off-roading and camp under the stars. Come with me on this trip of a lifetime as I show you the number one reason why you should move to this country, to experience the unique beauty that is Australia. Good morning from the Kimberleys in Northwest Australia. Now, we had a little break from the bus and we have been in Broome the last five days. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, we spent 10 days going from Perth all the way to Broome. We saw Exmouth, we went to Karajini, and then we ended up in Broome. And we did this with adventure tours. We had a few nice chill days in Broome. We walked down the beaches, I got around, had some food and just, just caught up with life. And now we are back on the bus and we're gonna be driving for the next 10 days through the Kimberley region in Australia's Northwest up to Darwin. So I'm so excited. Uh, this place is stunning. We were driving completely off road yesterday. We are currently in like the Gibb River Road area. We're gonna see some gorges and some really pretty things today. So make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already and tune into the other videos if you haven't already. And yeah, we're gonna get on the road and show you more of the Kimberleys. The Gibb River Road is one of Australia's most iconic outback adventures. If you are looking for a true wild Australian adventure, this 660 km dirt road will certainly give you that. The Gibb is famous for its secret gorges, vast rugged landscapes and hidden gems. This is the most isolated I've ever felt on a trip. At times, we would be driving for hours on end without seeing anyone. If you are going to attempt this adventure, make sure you have a reliable 4x4 or book onto a tour like this one I did with Adventure Tours. You probably didn't grasp how bumpy that ride was from those shots of the drones, but I honestly feel like this bus, this new bus we have, the four wheel drive one, it honestly feels like you're strapped into a roller coaster because just you're just going on dirt roads this is proper like off road fucking four wheel driving right now so i kind of <laughs> i feel a bit sick i was sat at the front which was nice because i got all the beautiful views of the kimberley region we have just arrived at bell's gorge it's 8 a.m i am uh, very hot which is why there is a lack of clothing so yeah let's go see what it's all about Bell's Gorge. I literally couldn't show you any of that, but it was so cool. It was just like down there, more and more waterfalls that we were like climbing down and then getting worms on us. Ah, fuck. So yeah, this is one of the places in Australia that I just, I wouldn't even think to go. Like I never heard about this place. But you definitely need a four by four to go on the unsealed roads. The next day we found ourselves at Manning Gorge, another beautiful campsite with a secret gorge. The only problem is to get to the start of the hike, you have to put your stuff in this bucket and swim across the river. So fingers crossed nothing goes in the water because I've got all my camera in there. Oh, sorry. And now while we cross, well, Otti carries my stuff. God, I'll show you. <laughs> The water is so warm. This is honestly incredible. Like I, I never heard about this place. Halfway through and we're still like waist high and then it's gonna get deeper. Oh, be careful that side's tipping. 
So if you are coming to Manning Gorge, they recommend to do this hike before, or we'll get back before 2 p.m. because it can be dark, can be scary, especially in winter when the sun goes down. This walk is honestly so beautiful. We are in such a remote part of Australia right now that I feel like we're in the middle of nowhere. Like, if anything happened to you, uh, I think it would be very expensive to get some help. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, beautiful. We've done a few of these hikes the last few days on this part of the trip, and it's honestly been so hot, but it always ends in like a really beautiful gorge or a river, so it's nice and cool. So I'm excited already to get in this waterfall, or gorge, whatever you want to say. And this one did not disappoint. Despite the sweaty hike that can take 1.5 hours each way, you are treated with the cascading waterfalls of Manning Gorge, one of the most beautiful swimming spots in the whole of the Kimberley. We have finally made it to the gorge. It's time to get in because, as I keep saying in today's vlog, I am so sweaty. How amazing is this? This water feels amazing. I feel like we're in this beautiful secret spot. Not Maybe not so secret. Manning Gorge. I also would jump in with this, but it's smashed so it'll break. Let's have a go. I'm gonna slide straight in. Straight in, straight in, because I'm Australian. Oh, that is beautiful. Ah, oh, that's so good. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is why the Kimberley is such a hidden gem in Australia because you really have to hike to get to these beautiful parts and they're so rugged and beautiful and it's definitely worth it. And oh my god, this water is so cold and so refreshing. I'm not even cold because I sweated so much. <sighs> oh my god, how is this my life right now? If I had some time, I'd be biting it well But my house is on fire, there's no one left to tell Just take what is given, the doors have been sealed Just breathe in the poison and hope. Okay, I just have to get back in this water because it's so good This is beautiful We have arrived at another bush camp for the night. We are at Ellen Bray campsite. I couldn't even tell you where we are. We've been sat on the bus for the last few hours since I last left you. But yeah, this is the big old bus. So I'm gonna show you guys how we set up camp every night. So this bus has everything we need to eat, prepare lunch, prepare dinner, has all our camping stuff at the top and plenty of firewood to make a campfire. So we're just gonna unload. So you pretty much have to unload everyone's luggage onto this big top and that's how we sort of get our clothes out, get our toiletries out every single night. And that is where we're sleeping tonight. I realise this is not the most practical colour to wear in the outback. This was white a few days ago. I have no idea what's going on so I'm just going to stay out of this. Right. Kombucha, it's time to go explore this beautiful place that we are calling home tonight. There is a water hole and apparently there's nice bathrooms, isn't there, Oti? Yeah, so we're exploring the bathrooms. That's a normal thing to do amongst friends. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so two people on our tour have given the bathrooms a really good review. So we're going to have to find out what people are so happy about with these bathrooms. Yeah, I think they're messing with us too. We're gonna have to find out. Which one would you recommend? I'd occupy it. Go around the corner. Okay, so apparently these toilets are amazing. Let's have a look. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, interesting. There's a bathtub. I mean, the shower thingy is cool. Show them, show them the shower. In this space, we have a shower. 
which is, you know, a bit outdoorsy as well. We've got some cool plants here. And then we have a random bathtub. I've never seen this at a campsite, but I love it. Okay, so this shower is probably the coolest shower out of all of them. It has a watering can on it. So this entire 10 day trip, we are staying in swags. I'm no stranger to swags and I've actually had the best night sleep in them. You're basically sleeping under the stars. So this is very different to the other tour that we just did when we went from Perth to Broome. We were having campfires every night, we're sleeping under the stars and we're doing a lot more cooking, which is good. So I think we're having gyozas and some vegetables tonight, so that'll be fun. Dude, way too much. Can you even see me? Okay, so I don't know if you can see me right now, but this is where we are sleeping. In a swag, under the stars. And this is how I'm gonna finish this video. It is so warm. Oh my God, it's so nice and warm. I am already for bed. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Gibb River Road slash the Kimberley slash driving to Darwin. We've been going for like, three weeks now I can't believe this adventure is nearly over comment below would you sleep outside like I am I did this before in Uluru had such a good sleep I've slept so well these past few nights so I'm excited because I'm gonna go to bed now so thanks for watching take care and peace out